Hi there everyone, it's Christy. This is just a short video on how to tell the difference between a real petition and a petition that's an entirely crappy con job that is probably really about collecting your email addresses to solicit you for other things or to aggrandize the ego of the person who put up the petition rather than actually making social change. Let me show you an example and this is even not even a, like a serious example it's a funny example of what an actual petition the characteristics a real petition should have. The first thing uh, this is asking President Obama to appear on HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher. When you're doing a petition to achieve political change or some kind of social change, it's important that you actually have a few elements that are very basic. The first thing is you have to target an individual. Petitions are not popularity contests. They're not, you don't collect signatures just to make yourself feel better. The idea of a petition is you're asking people to commit to a statement that will then be conveyed to a person who has the power to give you what you want. And that's the second piece. It has to be directed at a person who has the ability of giving you what you want. It doesn't make any sense to direct a petition at somebody who has no power to help you achieve your goals. So here, the president was the person to whom the petition was directed. The president has the power to appear on the real-time show. And then the third thing is you have to make a request that they could conceivably give. It's not just enough to have the power, um, you know, to be the president, you know, and then asking him to make policy changes on behalf of Russia or getting Congress to do things. The president can't make Congress do anything. The president can't make the heads of other nations do anything. The president can talk about his foreign policy and his foreign policy agenda, for instance. So they have to, you have to direct a petition at a real person. That person has to have the power to meet the demands and you know, comply with what you want. And it has to be within their purview. I want to compare this to a piece of crap petition that I just came across this morning from the idiots, or mostly the, the one idiot at Prager University, the way Trump University is a university. Now think about what I've just covered in the last section. Petitions need a person that they're directed at. That person has to be in a position of power that can grant you what you want. And the thing that you're asking for has to be something they can actually do. It has to be contained within their authority, within their wheelhouse, as it were. Now listen to this. I'll put up the full text, but I want to just read out two specific sections to show why this petition is stupid. We call on feminist activists and feminist groups to stand up for oppressed Muslim women against the elements of Islamic law and culture that abuse, subjugate, and humiliate millions of women around the world every day. Skipping down, a question for well-known so-called women's rights activists and groups such as Lena Dunham, Amy Schumer, Code Pink, and the National Organization of Women. What have you actually done to support oppressed women who need you the most? Okay, I'm going to end the reading now. You can look at the rest of the text yourself. They're not directing this, or he is not directing this at any of these particular people. He's just calling on feminist activists and feminist groups. To me, this means this is an exercise in collecting emails for solicitations, for, for donations. That's it. This isn't about actually doing any kind of petition that is meant to create change, because they have no person or group that they're directing it at. And have they looked up what Lena Dunham or Amy Schumer or the National Organization of Women have done? I mean, they're asking, what have you actually done? Well, that's not the point of a petition. The point of a petition is to ask a person who has the power to do a specific thing. These people are idiots. They're complete idiots. Another example of an idiotic petition that's really just an exercise in ego is Sargon's suspend social justice courses that's directed at universities. Like, where are you going to mail that? Who are you going to deliver these signatures to? These are crap, pointless exercises that aren't really meant to do anything to make real change. They're designed for some kind of alternative, ulterior motive for the person creating the petition. So just when you're looking at petitions in the future, ask yourself a few simple questions. One, is this petition directed at a person? Two, does that person 
have the rights and ability to actually give me what I want? And three, is what I'm asking for reasonable enough that they could actually agree to it and say yes, or start a conversation to work in that direction? If the petition doesn't do that, it's a load of crap. It's a waste of your time, and you're probably going to get spam in your email. So don't sign it. Right, that's going to wrap it up for me. I've been Christy. You've been awesome. Thanks for your time and attention, and I'll see you later. Bye.